Hi ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today, along with my son Nathaniel. Say hey, Nathaniel. Hello. Hey guys, we're gonna mount a couple tires here for a Nissan. We got two tires to mount. Uh, you can bring the camera down just a little bit. We got a couple, um, couple tires here. We're gonna use our little tire machine we have at the house. And today, I'm actually gonna show my son for the first time how to mount a tire. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of he's gonna be hands on here. And I figured while we were doing that, uh, I would let y'all just kind of. Uh, learn as well for those of you that may not have ever used a tire machine or a tire balancer before so let's get started um, Son, I'll be talking to my son mostly so you guys listen in too But well, we're gonna start with breaking this tire down. Okay. Do you ever remember us doing this before? We we're messing around with the truck tires that give me some trouble, but these here I promise you'll be a little easier So what we're gonna do The most important thing was one of these newer cars that have the TPMS sensors in it we don't want to break that, okay? Right. So mm -hmm. we don't want to do this right here. Look here, here's the arm. You do not want to have the arm right there at the sensor because if we push the pedal and broke that down, we'd break that sensor right on off, okay? So what we want to do is turn that sensor about 180 degrees away, okay? All right, come right over here. I want you to watch me break this bead to start with. We got three pedals right here, okay? Now the one in the middle is the one that we're gonna to use to bring this arm in, okay? And if you'll notice, I know it's kind of slow because we don't have a whole lot of pressure here, but as you see, it's bringing that in. It's breaking that tire down, you see that? You see how I've done that? Yeah. And now we can take our hand and push the rest of it on in. Now I'm gonna let you break the inside of the tire. And same thing goes whoa, whoa, whoa. for the inside, not as much. But you really want to keep this kind of turned 180 away also, even when you're breaking the inner bead. So go ahead and stand right here. You're going to operate that pedal right there in the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to use this hand to kind of guide it in place to get yourself where you need to be. It's right there is where you need to be. Okay. So grab that and hold that there. Yeah. And push that middle pedal. Push it and hold it. It'll take a minute. Back off. All right. Now I didn't quite get it. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna turn the wheel a little bit, okay? Turn about 90 degrees. Now go ahead and push your pedal again. Hold that. Are you pushing the pedal? There you go. Okay. All right. There you go. Let off. That's all right. You got it there. Turn it about another 90 degrees or so right in there. Go ahead and push it again. You gotta make sure, there you go, just like that. Alright, let's get right there, back off. The reason I told you to back off was when the problem is here, we're about a mouth. You know what? We didn't want to really crank down and make, make that arm go in there too far. Okay, so your tire's broke down. Okay, now pick it up and put it up here. See, hold on, what did you see something? You see them big old four jaws right there? Yeah. When you push that first pedal there, they're gonna all expand out to clamp this wheel, okay? Right. So go ahead and hit this pedal right here just one time. Just kick it down and let off. There you go, let off. Now watch here, see how it's doing that? Yeah. Going in there, grabbing that wheel. Now that wheel's on there solid, okay? All right, now watch this right here. Now this wheel, this pedal here, turns the wheel. here what we want to do this valve stem here we want it lined up right here with the paw okay so i'm going to show you why here in a minute remember how i told you we don't want to break these yeah so we want this turn just like so the camera over here so the good people can see what i'm talking about slide over a little bit oh. right here folks we got the arm right here and the valve stem is right here as well and i'm going to show you why here in just a second. 
my tool here, my handy tool. Because here's what we're going to do. We're going to push down right here. We're going to take this tool, go underneath that bead right there. We're going to hold down right here as we pull it up, pull it up and around like so. Now, if you'll notice, I've got this tire pulled up definitely away from this sensor in this particular area, okay? Now, if I had this right over here, I'd be almost guaranteed probably to snatch it off as soon as I started spinning this wheel because this right here is going to have a hard rubbing area right in this area until this tire gets up above as it's coming off of here, okay? So that's why you want to have it right there at the arm where you can get underneath it, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let you hold this, okay? Slide the camera back over here. Come around here in the thing. And what I want you to do, let's take this hand away from here. We don't want to have a hand near any of this, okay? But you just keep a hand right over here on that arm. Take your foot and push that pedal. This here? Yep. And you can let it watch the machine. It's going to take that tire off of there. So go ahead and hit the pedal and hold it down. I'll watch your turn. There you go. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Don't ever get your hand anywhere over here near this, okay? Okay. As that comes around and this tool starts moving that way, you let go of that tool before you ever get your hand anywhere over here near this arm, okay? You see what I mean? Yeah. All right, now, so let's take the tool. Now, what we want to do, we'll go ahead and spin this tire all around again to where our valve stem is right here in this area again because we're going to take this other bead off of here okay All right. now this one's going to be a little trickier okay let me show you what you got to do slide over here and i want to show you the movement here okay because you got to lift it's a little trickier because you got to lift up hold with this hand once you get it up reach in here get that underneath that bead okay and i actually hang on <laughs> I didn't hold it up high enough. Get it underneath the bead. And then you can pull it, pull it up like so. So see how that can be a little tricky? Yeah. It takes years of experience to really get to where you can fly through these things. But notice we have the bead up above here. And guys, just so you know, you can bring the camera right down here and you can see here's our sensor. So we're in a safe area here. We're totally past the sensor already. So we're ensured that we're not gonna damage the sensor. All right, come over here. Hold that down with your hand. Come on, push your pedal. And look at there, look at there. You have removed the tire, Nathaniel. How about that? Yeah. All right, so now all you gotta do from this point is kick this over out of the way, like so. And then we'll be ready to install our new tire. <clears throat> okay, Nathaniel, and okay, folks out there in YouTube land, we're getting ready to mount this uh, new tire on here. Now, there's a couple things. Does it matter which way the tire goes? Either this way or maybe this way? You think that can matter? Uh, I kind of like the other one better. You like the other one better? <laughs> okay, well, let me tell you, there's something other than you liking it better that has to be, you got to ask yourself a qu couple questions first. Now, your tire could be a directional tire. And if it was a directional tire, it would actually have an arrow telling you which way this tire needed to go on this car. Mm. So if this wheel was on the right front, we'd have to have the arrow facing this way, okay? Left front, the arrow this way. So you flip the tire over. Or the tire could be an asymmetrical tire where it tells you inside, outside. It'll say somewhere on this tire, it'll say outside. I don't see that written anywhere. I will double check. And, it's, and sometimes it'll say inside or outside or both. And then sometimes I've seen it say just outside. So you got to look these tires over really carefully. Now, I don't see anything here. So um, your DO, DOT number is right here on the outside, on this side with the white sticker. So I'm going to say uh, this here is as good as any. We'll just make sure we mount both of them with the white sticker up and we're good to go, okay? Or you could go white sticker down, it doesn't matter. But as long as you, I just always like to do things the same, whichever way I do it. Now, there's some soap right here, okay? Look at this soap right here. See it right there? Yeah. That ooey gooey stuff? Ooh. We're gonna put some of that right here on the bead. Does that smell? 
I don't want somebody else to shut them. Uh, hmm? So we're gonna put a coat of soap right there. That looks like it's gonna take your breath away. No, no, it's just uh, tire soap. All right, so we put a little bit on here, like so. Now, we're gonna put the tire on here, and it doesn't really matter. Sometimes there'll be a dot on tires where they want you to line it up with the bow stem, but it doesn't really matter. Now our bow stem is over here, guys, people out there in YouTube land. We're 180 degrees away from the bar, okay? So what we're gonna do, you see this lip right here? This lip right here on the arm, we're gonna put that tire right there and we're gonna push this tire just like so right there, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit this pedal, right? So I'm gonna let you come over here and do it, okay? Put a little bit of pressure right there. Look here, don't get your fingers anywhere near the edge. Keep everything out like this right here. Now give this a turn right there. There you go, there you go. Ba-bam, stop. Go ahead, you got, the, you got the first bead on. All right, now what do we wanna do? We wanna turn this 180 degrees again, okay? Just to put the top bead on, all right? So let's go ahead and turn it. Right there, we're 180 degrees away. All right. Now what do you think we need to do here? Uh, we gotta get this on this lip here, okay? Like so, all right? Now we need to push a little pressure down here, like so, okay? Now look here, if you're doing, you see how my hands are? Yeah. I got my fingers away from this area right here. You don't wanna have your fingers in like that because if you do that, it's gonna smash your fingers, okay? You gotta keep your palm in your hand, like, just like that. And like, I got my hand right here. Now you can do that or you can take the pry tool and you can hold down on it just like so, okay? Right. And you don't even have to touch the tire. Now, you gotta come over here where I'm at. Come right over here. All right. Now hold down on that with that hand and then hit that pedal. And you're gonna have to walk around with it, okay? All right, ease it, keep, ease it around, go ahead. There you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you slipped off, okay? You see how this is wanting to go now. Let's back it up. Let's back it up a little bit. Try it one more time. Okay. I'm going to get it right up here on this lip here. And we're going to push down a little bit like so. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and push it all around a little bit. And we'll catch it right there. All right. Okay. Now you hold that. Now you got to let it, you got to walk with it. It's going to want to go around. Okay. So go with the flow. Go ahead. See if you can do it. Good job. Now come back over here. All right. Come back over here. Give it a little bit more pedal. Hit the pedal again. Put your hand on that just so it don't sling off. Hit the pedal. Roll it on over. Like so. Stop. Stop. There you go. Now pull your tool out. Guess what? You just mounted a tire. How about that? Yeah. Is that pretty cool? Yeah. All right. Now we got to swing this arm out of the way. Go ahead and swing this arm out of the way. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Push it out of the way. Hold this. Mm -hmm. Now, you should be able to just swing it out just like that. Okay. Push that like that right there. This tool goes right down here. We have another tool laying over here. I laid it over here. Actually, I like this tool better. But anyhow, all right now, what we got to do now is put air in the tire. So I'm going to turn this, turn this around this way a little bit. And we got a hose right over here on the side. Look here. Right here. Yeah. I want you to hook this, you hook it up on here. Can you do that? Right here? Yeah. Uh, is it on? Squeeze, squeeze this little thing here. Okay. Like so. Okay. Let go. Huh. Just like so. Alright. Now, there's a butt, there's a foot pedal right there. Right here? Yep. Press that foot pedal with your foot and this thing start airing up. Now, see how it's not, it's missing some air? Yeah. You might have to might have to take your hands, grab a tire, come pull up on it just a little bit. And it'll start airing up here in a second. Don't pull up too hard. Hang on, I'm, I gotta cut the compressor back on. Let's cut the video for a second while we're gonna get some air. Alright. There you go, you hear that pop? Yeah. 
That was the bottom bead, and now we're just gonna let it keep adding there, and it's gonna pop this top bead, top bead on too. Do I feel something? Well, let's, let's get ready to fill up. Okay, I feel you something. You can let go of the wheel. Okay. You just gotta, you just gotta keep pushing on that pedal. Okay. Watch right here. You're gonna see it pop in place there in just a minute. Come on, come on, boy. There we go. Alright, now look on the gauge right over there. There's a gauge over here, folks. Let off. How much you got in there? About 30? Yeah. Alright, that's good enough for right now. So let's get in this pool. And one of the in this core right here, okay? And we're gonna put this right back in here, just like so. I'm gonna go and do this, I'll let you do the next, okay? And stick them in there just like so. And you tighten it down. There we go. And you don't want to crank it too much, okay? Just a little snugness, okay? Mm -hmm. And you do this long enough, you get kind of a feel for it. But anyway, that's that. And you're all done with mounting your first tire. How do you feel about that? Yeah. All right, now we got to balance it, okay? Yeah. So let's get started. All right, friends, and all right, Nathaniel, we're over here to the tire machine now. I'm sorry, the tire balancer. And we've already put our tire on here, and we've got it nice and snug. We've snugged it down. And now we have a couple of measurements here that we got to preset before we can balance this tire, okay? First one being, you see these three different things here? First one is this arm, okay? Take this arm over to the, to the lip of the wheel and take this reading down here, and it says 70, about 77, okay? You see that? Yeah. All right, just past the 75 mark. So now let's go over here. We're gonna take our, th actually it's already on 77. So bam, there you go, 77. Uh, so what kind of wheel we got here? Uh, we got a 16 inch wheel. So you can see you can tap up and down, 14, 15, 16. So we know we got a 16 inch wheel. And we have to use this tool here to figure out our rim diameter. And what is our rim diameter? What does it say right there, Nathaniel? It's supposed to be Seven. Is that pointer point that? About seven and a half? Yeah, about okay. seven and a half. About seven and a half inches. So let's see here. We're at seven. That's uh, 7.5. So all of our settings here are preset. So we're ready to go ahead. Now I'm going to put this on static balance, okay? I find that this machine, little machine works better for me if I do that. Which means we're going to put all the weight on one side. And I'm going to hit the start button. And let's just see what it says. Right there it says 1.75. And it's going to want that if we turn this around. Where these dots, where you get all solid dots across here, means it wants the weight perpendicular. Okay, so it wants it right here on the inside edge, straight up, just like that. So what I'm going to do is take our rag, take the brake clean, spray it on the rag, and then I'm gonna go in here and clean this surface really good, okay? And then we're gonna put our weight there in just a moment. All right, we have quarter ounce weights here. So it takes four quarters to make a one, right? Yeah. So that's one ounce, three more would be three quarters, okay? So it's wanting one and three quarter ounces of weight. So let's go ahead and Peel our paper off of here. And we're gonna make sure our dots are all lined up right there. And I'm gonna come right up here and stick this weight on here, okay? With my hand, I'm just gonna pull it up on there nice and tight. And then we're gonna hit the start button again. So let's hit the button and see what happens. <coughs> okay, it come up zero. So that means this tire is balanced and ready to go back on the car. Okay. Okay. All right. So guys, we appreciate you stopping by here today and watching us um, uh, instruct Nathaniel here how to mount and balance one tire. We got one more to do, but we don't think we're going to take you uh, on that journey with us. We're going to go ahead and knock it out. And we want to appreciate you for stopping by, checking out the video today. Anything you'd like to say to the good people? 
Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> That's right, friends. And also, don't forget to check out our other two channels. We'll leave links down below. RJW Financial Coaching and the Personal Body Makeover. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.